Right, I'm finding my way around this. Um, let's turn that down quick. Um, I'm doing a massive super set, monster set, or whatever set, it's huge anyway. Might as well call it the Total, Dine, total Annihilation set. Um, step ups, work on the Olympic rings, um, be it dips, be it false grip work, be it um, press ups, onto squats, come off squats, onto shoulder work, um, loads of rehab, and then onto a whole load of abs, and then back around. Um, this ab um, movement I used to do tons of, um, and then I just I just, just stepped away from it because I started doing loads of work on the on the floor, doing straight leg sit ups and leg raises and rear leg raises. And one of the geezers was doing the other day. I was like, yeah, I used to do that loads. And I was like, I should add it back in. So I just thought, for shits and giggles, I add it back in. I should show you. It's pretty straightforward on said box. Now this is probably not going to work, is it? There we go. This from there, you can have a dumbbell on your feet. Extend out. Yeah, so I've got dumbbell here. Bosh. And then you can obviously add in leg raises and everything else as well. So it's just a. Uh, I used to like doing that because you're, it's a lot of control um, and because you're not just completely flat on the floor, you're having to control yourself as you extend and you come back in. So like concertina, you know, uh, out and in, out and in, um, and you're balancing, you know. <clears throat> so I still on a bench, you start the hands here, you can have them here, come here, whatever. Up and hold, one, two, three, out and hold, one, two, three, lower, up, yeah. If, you, if you're on a thinner bench or you just sit your ass more towards the edge, you can bring your legs down more. And then don't always just be ab crazy. You've got to remember if you're hitting one side, you have to hit the other. Or you can come off to here, up and hold, yeah, because you've obviously got all your muscles through here and through your glutes, um, which you need to work. Uh, and also, instead of just going, you know, straight up your legs, you know, come out. And then you're gonna be hitting all these separate muscles here, um, which obviously, uh, just more finer muscles to help you stabilize in. Um, and the way your lower back works and all the muscles. You know, there's loads of muscles that are intertwined together and you have to, so just hit one area, you want to complement them. So, you know, you go from near, medium, far, come in, come out, far, medium, narrow, in, out, out and hold. Yeah, and you'll find that is a completely different squeeze to that. Ideally, so you're going to have um, near, medium, far, and then you bring your legs out, you'll, you, you'll see what I mean. If you do it on a bench, you'll see what I mean. So near, medium, far, yeah, and you also get this really good squeeze up on the hip. If you want a good shape, it's probably more more ladies than guys because obviously but um, you've got to work on those different areas and if you're being smart with your training then you don't care about your shape you just care about having strong areas that all complement each other so you've got good muscle synergy so everyone works well together so you've got strength in all areas so you've got 360 degree arcs of strength so you're a well prepared machine all the way around rather than just one direction yeah Okay. Right. Sorry to bore you, it's just for pals of wisdom. Right, let's crack on. It's getting close to the breakfast. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. Got this thing about croissants and peanut butter. 
And I've also found some really good chocolate spread in one of the shops nearby. I'm like, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get some of that. <laughs> chocolate spread, peanut butter, croissants, loads of butter. Mmm, a treat, good carb hit. So, let's get it done.